What's going on YouTube is Donnie B all day and I got something mighty mighty cool for you Another cold steel product. This thing is just crazy crazy cool. This is a pocket Bushman It's got a 440 stainless handle and it's got a surprise up its sleeve now it does have thumb notches for um, for opening but I'm gonna let you know that it is rough to open with just your thumb so pulling it open is basically the way to go with this guy um, this thing is awesome man it is ten and a quarter overall I believe it's got a four and a half inch blade and we're gonna get to the special part real quick the lock on this is not a liner lock it's not a frame lock you don't have a, a top lock this thing is called it's like a ram lock and basically what it is you have this little pole right here or you have two jimped areas right here and you pull it and that loosens it how cool is that if you want to open it easier you just pull and open at the same time thing opens up pretty good now it's got the brushed finish on it. I don't even know if I can get that in there for you guys, but oh yeah, I can. So the thing is awesome. It's um, 4116 German stainless steel. It is strong as somebody stronger than me. This thing is tough, man. It is tough, tough, freaking tough. Uh, Cold Steel did a great job making this thing. If it sounds like my voice is a little shallow today, a little off, it's because somebody's sleeping in the house and I'm trying to be quiet because I'm nice like that. So basically, let's get on this. We do have a, uh, a shallow clip right here. It's not a deep pocket clip, it's a shallow clip, but it is ambidextrous, which is cool. It doesn't go to uh, both sides of the knife, just there and there. Um, I just love playing with this lock. It's, um, it's really cool. I mean, there's not too many knives that have this. Look at this pull that listen I don't know I just like it um, but it is it's really cool pull that open right there now people say well okay what is that it's not a, a, a quick deploy so it's not a uh, self-defense knife but literally yeah it is if you just grab it and open it it's self-defense um, to to put it back it takes a little bit longer than it does to open it up hold on let me check my dog one of them uh, the other one's gonna be back there somewhere so basically um, I think this is the ultimate folding camp knife I mean the ultimate folding camp knife <laughs> um, it's really really good at all tasks the ram lock is insanely strong I know when they um, when they did their testing they put the thing in a vise and they dangled 250 pounds and uh, everything still worked now we all know that no matter what, 100%, that it's impossible for a lockback or a folding knife to be as strong when it comes to like prying and things like that as a fixed blade because fixed blades do not have this axis point right here. What makes this a stronger knife than most is that you see how the blade is fully uh, wrapped around right here, right? So this is kind of clasping the blade so normally where you'd have this fear of wobble where this would open up that's not going to spread right there i wouldn't recommend recommend i wouldn't recommend heavy duty um, um prying but you can definitely pry with this knife it is awesome the thing is sharp crazy crazy sharp i mean just that's just literally look at that I just went through a couple times whoosh, 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 hairs come off um, last night I needed to make some steaks and I figured if I'm gonna be cutting up some steak why not use this so I uh, you're gonna see me in a different shirt that was last night I ended up using this to cut through the steak I'll tell you what man you got to cut through somebody's meat or I mean some animals meat this guy right here you can skim with it you can baton with it you can feather stick with it you can feather stick with a sharpened spoon so that's not really saying much but i'll tell you what there isn't a task i found yet that this thing really can't do when you're talking about realistic tasks especially for um like camp knife capabilities things like that 
go bag knife, camp knife, whatever, put it on a carabiner, boom, let it hang. This thing will always be right in front of you. Um, it's awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut a little water bottle. We'll do a couple tests. I'll show you the meat slice. And um, then we'll probably chuck it because that's what I do. I'm dying to be all day. I chuck knives. Let's go play. All right. So here we go. We're going to go through this bottle. And I don't say we're going to see if we're going to do it because I know we can. All right. Here we go. Just simple. Just clean. Just sharp oh my goodness i can go all the way around this bottle doing that that's just pretty man it is it's pretty this thing is awesome this thing is awesome stay tuned i'm gonna show you the meat now so nothing says i am a man killer like being able to sear through man meat and while this isn't a piece of man's meat this is a man's size piece of meat so we are going to Let's see, get some of this blood out of there so I don't drip it all over the counter. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Check this out. Oh, my goodness. Check this out. Check this out. Look at that. This thing is sharper and finer than any kitchen knife you got in the closet. Unless you got those really good ones. Because I got the cheap ones. I'm cheap. All right. So check it out. Here we go. Look at it, nice and easy. I'm gonna place it right here and I'm just gonna slide it. I gotta make sure this thing don't go all the way across and hit my fingers. Hoo hoo. Doggy, look at this, look at this. Guys, oh man. That's a fine looking piece of meat. So, let's see. Let's sit it up there. Hoo hoo, quick. Hoo hoo, shit. <laughs> all right, so much for not getting it on the counter, but Let's see what we did here with that quick little slice. You see that right there? Ooh wee. Man, oh man. Now this is partially frozen because I had it in the freezer and I put it in the fridge. So let's see. Even through this nice frozen, look at that. Oh, that's going to be delicious. I'm not going to lie to you. Down to be all days got knife dinner. Let's see. Maybe make some, woo, make some cubes. Oh my goodness, look at that. Guys, I'm telling you, this is effortless, effortless slicing and dicing. Cold Steel has done it again. I mean, boop, check that out. This thing is a freaking knife. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna cook some steak. All right, it's time to knock, knock, knock in some wood. So let's um, let's take a couple whacks of this pallet here. Oh my goodness, that's stuck in so tight. Now, normally I bring you guys these lockbacks, and there's not much I do for um, chopping because they're just not made to chop. This guy, right, I, I'm literally, I'm literally every time I swing, it's getting stuck in the wood and pulling out of my hand. But this thing chops as well as a bigger survival knife and um it's actually quite impressive as a chopper you see that little hole right there um it's quite impressive as a chopper how does the 4116 do uh edge wise you tell me man look at this thing flawless that is a really really good looking blade uh let's go do some more stuff all right, so here we are at our favorite stump, and we're going to do a couple drop tests, see how straight it flies. And I have to say, the balance, let's see where the balance is. The balance, man, it's, I want to say it's almost centered, but because of the length due to the lock, it looks like it's all front. But if you notice, I mean, you're still, you have probably a half inch longer in the front. But also, you're talking about there's no scales. This is just a piece of 420 stainless wrapped around. So I'm kind of interested to see how this is going to fall. You have more weight to the front balance point wise. It's not here at the lug. But the way it's constructed because the weight inside this lock, the ram lock, I don't know. So we're going to do that and then we're going to do some downward throws and see if anything loosens on us. All right, so let's start with a drop 
Ooh. I'll tell you what, that's four feet of drop and it's dropping mighty straight. Mighty straight. Oh yeah, that's good. And, I'll t and I just dropped it four feet and it bites in there like crazy. So now, you know, let's check the lock while we're here. All right, so, uh, oh, I don't have it by the, by the end here. So let's see, it locks, it opens, it doesn't close on your hand and kill your fingers. That, my friends, is a plus. I hate losing fingers during knife reviews. All right, so we're gonna give it a couple quick tosses downward. Man, that thing bites in there good. Oh yeah, that's a good one, man. Let's see. Now let's see if we have any tip bending from picking that up. Holy moly. Now the tip looks great. Dead straight, just perfect. Let's do a little bit of prying here. And I'm gonna dig it in a little bit harder than I did on some of those other lockbacks because I can trust this thing. Look at that. I can trust this thing more to pry with than some of those other guys. Oh my God, I'm getting a nice bow. Can you guys see that? Holy mackerel. Now let's see if we bent it at all. And it doesn't look like we bent it. Man, this thing is awesome. Do a little bit more prying. I love the fact that that thing is bowing and then snapping straight back. I mean, it is dead straight, guys. This thing is awesome. You see that the tip was literally folded over, right? And usually when you fold the tip like that, you have a good chance of snapping it or it's gonna hold the bend. This thing, there isn't, oh man, there isn't any, I mean, an inkling of this thing being, having bent or anything like that. That's fantastic. This thing is fan freaking tastic. Whoo, doggy. Oh, you know what? While we're here, let's uh, let's go ahead and cut some stuff. Let's start with this. Let's start with this. Let's uh, let's do a little bit of this here. And just like that last knife, after the batoning, the the knife actually stuck and stayed in the wood. How clean was it? You tell me. That thing is clean. Now let's give it a little bit of. A little bit of this and that and uh, man that is taking out so much wood per swipe i am digging oh we got a knot right here let's see how we do straight freaking through you can see the discoloration that's the knot we just went straight through oh freaking yeah so do we need to make spikes for a pit catch some animals yeah yeah get some good eating down there um, without a doubt. I mean, this thing, this thing will do anything we want it to. Let's see. Yeah, that's happening. That's happening. That's happening. Look how clean that is. Um, let's make a couple little notches here. We got, let's see if we got to make a bow. We got to do that bow string notch. And man, that is super clean for a notch. Boop, 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 boop. Right there, let's make the old Lincoln log notch, the old square notch. You know, I have to say square notch every now and then because I just call it a Lincoln log notch. And then some of the purists are like, that's a square notch. Well, no shit, dumbass. But, you know, it looks like the notch on a Lincoln log and that's what you're going to use it for is when you're building fires or you're building a, a temporary structure or whatever, you know, you got to be able to put them sticks together so they all fit right like Lincoln logs. So, some of the people out there are just whiny and they like to hear things said correctly. You know what I mean? Like, if I said, you see this little flat spot right here? They're gonna say, you didn't call it a Ricasso. <laughs> if I said, you know, if you got the top of the blade right here, you didn't call it a spine. <laughs> all right, shut up. We all know what the hell it is. All right, we know what they're called. We know what the names of things are. Some people just don't give a crap. They just want to know what the damn thing can do, or if it's any good or not. So, to answer that part of the question, yes, it's good enough. Uh, let's see. We got some vacuum cleaner hose. Let's take off a chunk of that real quick. Right. Wow. Man, that went straight through. The problem is there was a dip in the log, so I didn't get all the way through it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just slice down. All right. 
We're gonna open that bad boy up just like that. Now we're gonna unfold and slice and slice and bigger slice. Guys, this thing is awesome. And it's a cool knife. I mean, how many times you see a fully stainless knife where the lock is pulled from the rear? How many times you see it? I never see that, ever. Um, this thing is just cool, man. I am having a whole lot of fun with this blade here. Now I want to do some more stuff. I just don't know what. So let's go find out together. All right, so I told you guys, you can skin with it, but like I always say, telling and showing is two different things. So let's, uh, let's pick us a nice spot here, get my finger out of there. Oh my goodness, that was too simple. That was too simple. Can you skin with this knife? Um, I'm going to go ahead and give that a hell yeah. Um, you need to take off a little piece of that leather. And then you can use it for honing your edge. Oh, yeah, look at that, how beautiful. So this thing's awesome. So all the stuff that we're doing, let's just, uh, let's give it an old shave test. Woohoo! I don't know if you guys can see that, but you see all those hairs? After chopping, after slicing, after going through plastic, and after cutting through leather and all that crap. Man, this blade looks really good. This edge is gorgeous. Look at all those hairs. Oop, out of frame. Look at all those hairs. Can you see that right there? Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what, it's still shave sharp. Still shave sharp. But what I need to know is if it's throw sharp. So let's go spear this thing and have some fun. I changed my mind. We'll get to that. Can you guys see this freaking sweat coming off me? Um, what I want to do is I have some free hanging branches right here, right? Some pine. And what I want to do, I need to trim these anyway. So what I want to do is just take a, a swat at a couple of these things and see if I can't trim them down free hanging. You see how light and loose and dangly they are? That means if the blade's not sharp, it's just going to push. It's not going to cut. No worries. Let's see. We got a nice big thick one right here. Uh, you guys are in there. Oh, my goodness. That was Donnie B all day. I think I got that there. I'm trying to hold this freaking camera, and I absolutely muffed up that one. Here we go. Let's try again. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff now. Look at that. There's these two cuts right here. Look at how beautiful you can see the sap just dripping. You can see it on the blade. Holy mackerel. So, I mean, if I need to, if I need to use this for trimming, where are we right here? I can literally just use it for trimming and uh, get everything I need to done. What about the, uh, the spine here? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the spine, the blade, any freaking part of this thing, I'm pretty sure I could use the handle to take away something if I really needed to. But holy crap, guys, this thing, this thing is a beast. Let me see. Let's see here. All right, I want to see if I can check this out. Check this out. Am I getting you? Yeah, you guys are still in. All right, so without holding on to it, I'm just using the blade. I'm not holding on to the branch, all right? I'm able to, so if you got one arm, if you're damaged, you're hurt out in the woods, and you still need to cut, man, this thing, am I still in there? I'm trying to hold this guy's one hand, I apologize. If you have one hand and you need to cut, look at this, man. I can do it the old fashioned way, or I'm pretty sure I can just start hacking at it. And I'm telling you what, it doesn't matter if you're injured or not, if you have cold steel in your pocket, it just don't matter. Let's see. Yeah, you see that. You see that. This thing is for real. This thing is for real. I love it. Oh, what's the time? It's time to get ill. No, it's not. It's time to throw this bad boy over there. So we're going to go five yards. We're going to try to chuck this thing and see if we can't make the pointy part go into the wooden part. All right? Let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. <laughs> well, it hit there, but then the pointy part stuck in the ground. So, uh, I mean, is that kind of a win? I don't know. Let's try that again. 
That was, that's funny. Oh my gosh, I'm hitting the blade. Let's see, man, I hit the blade and that thing just popped. Still tight, still strong. I still missed. This is really weird to throw. You know, you guys see all my videos, you see me throwing. This one's weird to throw. All right, so this I'm hitting on the blade, but I'm hitting it at angles. That one, I actually hit the blade like this, kinda. So here's a tree, it hit this way, up and down. So I need a little bit more rotation, so I'm gonna back up just a little bit farther. <laughs> Guys, I can't write this stuff. Hold on a second. There it is, sticking straight up. All right, so let's try again. I'm not used to missing, so this is kind of fun. All right, man, this is an awkward throw. There we go. All right, it's bound to happen. I do this enough with knives to where I should be able to get one. And uh, let's see. Nothing moving, no clicking. Let's see, did we bend the tip at all? Did we damage the rear? Did we hurt the ability to fold? Did we hurt the ability to open? No, why? Because, well, A, it's cold steel. B, it's super fucking badass, dude! This is the pocket Bushman! All serious? <laughs> Which I never am. This thing is sub $50 and totally freaking worth it. Let's go put it on the rack. Here we have it, Cold Steel's Pocket Bushman. I'll tell you what guys, on my go bag, which is what I use for uh, like hiking and camping, things like that, um, I have a carabiner. And on that carabiner, um, this thing will dangle. Um, I will be taking this out with me every single time that bag leaves the house it is really really that good it's comfortable in the hand uh the finger the finger well there is i mean you'd think that having two pieces of steel separate like that and your hands grabbing it you'd think that you'd feel the edges and it would be sharp and it would be hard to grab no it's it's freaking wonderful um this is a great little clip point right here man um i love it, it this thing is literally going to be my everyday uh camp knife my you know i'm gonna have my belt knife on me whatever that is and i'll have a small pocket knife with me uh, most likely gonna be probably my case tribal lock um and as far as a all-around camp knife that's gonna be with my bag 24 7 so i'll have it anytime i need it this thing is gonna be that knife i've had it now for a few months this is the first time I've done anything with it. I've had it sitting around the house. I cut open some boxes with it, but I haven't really given it a test. Um, and I haven't really gotten a full feel for it. And now that I have, now that I got my hands around it and got to find out, you know, what this thing's all about, I have to say, this thing is, this thing is definitely, definitely worth it. Um, it's, it's awesome. The steel is great. This 4116 German stainless steel, um, it took a little beat in there, you know, banging it off those trees, that's not good for a blade, and this blade didn't notice, I mean, it just, nothing, nothing, nothing shocked this thing, it was just awesome. So, if you're looking for a total camp knife that's not a fixed blade, you want a folder, you want a lock back that you can literally dangle from your bag, this thing is an abso freaking loot winner right here. Um, completely, completely impressed. Cold Steel, another great product. They knocked it out of the park. So, um, can I recommend this thing? Whew, highly recommend that right there. Cold Steel's Pocket Bushman. It is freaking awesome. I'm Donnie B. All Day, and until next knife.